Hello, welcome to LibbyStamps.com. I'm going to do a quick uh, screen card for you today. Now, I had one on my blog uh, for Mother's Day or Mother's Love um, on the 5th of May. So you can check that one out. But we're going to make our very own today. And I've decided to use Rose Red. Um, basic grey blushing bride and whisper white all right i'll put all the measurements on my blog as usual you're going to start out with a piece of card which measures five and a half that way by 11 and i'll put the metric uh, measurements on my blog as well and then you're going to score at two and three quarters five and a half and eight and a quarter so that's your card base then you need uh, four pieces of your first mat so it'll go on um, top of the rose red and I've decided on basic grey and they need to measure two and a half by four and three eighths and you need four of those then you need four of your second mat which will go on top and they measure two and three eighths by four and a quarter and then your last mat that you're going to stamp on and you need four of those will be two and one eighth by four inches plus you need a little scrap of uh, whatever this mat is and mine's in whisper white and I've already stamped on mine using painted petals and I've cut it out with the extra large oval punch and I've already placed um, a couple of um, dimensionals on the back so that's ready to go on my card all right so I'm going to start off with my stamping now because these are photopolymer stamps, I like to use my stamp and pierce mat and I leave the plastic bag on it because then that means if you get any ink on it, you can wipe it off quite easily with a wet wipe of one sort or another. So I'm going to start with the first panel and I've already mounted up um, the leaves from um, painted petals and I'm using pear pizzazz ink so I'm just going to ink that up tap 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 and this one I'm going to stamp off a little bit so that I don't have all of the stems and I'm going to stamp on a bit of an angle So that's the stem stamped on there and see how I've got a little bit of ink on my um, stamp and pierce mat but because I've left the plastic on I can easily wipe that off with a wet wipe. Alright and then I'm going to use that same, um, the same leaf on two of the other panels so I may as well get them stamped while I'm at it. So this one I'm going to do here and then another one just down here to make it look a bit like a garden I suppose and again wipe off the excess ink quite easily and then the last one is also going to be to one side and then I'm going to stamp that down here like that all right so that's those three and I've got a little bit of over stamp but that won't matter I'm going to use the long stems and stamp them down all right so I'll just ink them up and I'm going to stamp right up the top here so I've got them 
there like that. And then another lot sort of a bit further down like this. Maybe here. And then the last lot, just some little ones. And you might only fit two in, but that's fine. So that's all my um, stem stamped. And now I'm going to stamp um, the flowers. All right, now because they're photopolymer, you can see where they need to go. So I'm just going to stamp down. And then with these ones, I'm just going to lift up and move a tiny bit to my right and stamp down again. And then that gives you a bit of a shadow effect behind your flower. Um, I'm going to do the same on these other panels as well. You notice how I've got some ink there on my stamp and pierce mat. And I can quite easily um, remove that with a wet wipe. Alright, so that's those three panels. And my final panel, I'm just going to use the little blossoms. So, tap, 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 and I can stamp down, lift up and move a tiny bit to the right and I've got that double look Lift up. this time I might go to oh I'll go to the right again and then down the bottom I'll do them so it goes to the left all right all right and then I'm just going to stamp with memento um, black and I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. So just ink that up with the memento black. And I'm going to put it on an angle. And stamp happy birthday. Alright, so now we come to actually making the card itself. So I'm going to get my piece of uh, rose red card that I've scored at two and three quarters, five and a half and eight and a quarter. And I'm going to fold away from myself first and burnish that and then fold towards myself and just make sure the edges at the top and bottom are right and then fold away from myself. And that gives you that screen looking um, effect. Alright, then I've got my scallop border punch and about the middle of my card, so that's the, um, the second score, I'm going to line that up there with uh, the middle of my scallop border punch. So I've got one, two and a bit, one, two and a bit, and that's my middle. And then I'm going to punch down. So punch down. And then I'm going to punch the rest of the top of my border. All right, the next punch I'm going to use is the decorative label punch. Now, what you're going to do for this one is Come in with your punch and you need to have it around about the middle of your card. Now I just push down lightly on my punch and then check to see if I think that's in the middle. And you want it so it's just um, short of this middle point here so that you're not actually seeing that point when you punch down. So when you're happy with it, punch down 
and there you've got your first two legs. Then I'm going to fold over in half and I'm going to line up the punch that I just made again with the card underneath so that all my legs are going to be in the same spot and punch down. So there are our legs and then it's just a case of putting all your little bits together. So we're going to start with our basic grey and I'm using Tombow um, multi-purpose liquid glue today. So we'll start with our basic grey and then we'll put um, some Blushing Bride and then one of our Whisper White panels on. So I usually store my Tombow upside down so that the um, glue is always at the top of the um, nozzle and you only need a tiny bit and we're going to stick that down and I like using Tombow too because it gives you a little bit of room to wiggle um, so that if you get it slightly off you can you've got a bit of time there to fix it up all right so there's one panel completed let's wiggle that one up a little bit all right so that's one panel completed i'll be back in a minute when i've got the other other ones completed here i am back again and now just it's um just a matter of working out where you would like your bits all right so it's really just a case of fiddling around with where you'd like things and then putting them on um, with your favorite glue now when you're doing putting the panels on try and line them all up so that the bases and the tops match and then I'm going to um, add some pearls here. So I'm just judging with my eye as to where the base and the top of the card goes. And because I'm using Tombow, that gives me a little bit of uh, wriggle room. I've seen these made um, for men as well, using uh, Traveller or the Open Sea and the typeset designer series paper as well so that's a good option for you so don't just think um, they have to be for uh, female cars they can really be for anybody all right then i'm just going to take the back off these dimensionals so i've added it to this one here and i'm just going to add um, a few pearls i'll just add these small pearls to the sentiment top and bottom and then you can add the pearls too to each panel so i'm just adding them to the corners of each piece of whisper white I'll just turn it around so I can get to the other side quickly and easily so I'm just using um, the medium size pearls there we have our screen card all completed and I'll put all those measurements up on my blog and I'll put a couple of photos up too so you can have a look so thanks for stopping by today. See you again soon. Bye for now. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find.